Okay, so solving these quadratic equations, of course, um, there's no reason why we should always be given the zero on the right-hand side. That would make it too easy for us, right? So, again, go over the three steps. When you solve quadratic equations by factoring, the first step is get zero on the right or the left, it wouldn't matter. Then factor, you know, the other side, usually the left-hand side by one one some method and then we use the zero product rule if a times b is zero a is zero or b is zero right okay so let's take this example one we have two x squared minus three x minus nine equals that how about let's try and get zero on the right hand side okay so we would say subtract x squared from both sides and if you did that of course and remember, you know, x squared and x, these are not like terms, and then the constants are, are not like terms. So or, so 2x squared minus, x, minus 1x squared would be x squared, wouldn't it? And this would be 0. Now, there's nothing stopping us at the same time adding 2x to both sides. We can do that, can't we? Negative 3x plus 2x gives negative 1x, doesn't it? And this makes 0. And now what? You do take the next step. You want to get 0 on the right, so would you subtract 3 from both sides? So 3 minus 3 is 0, negative 9 minus 3, negative 12. So what do you have on the right-hand side? Write it down. 0, right? So now we're back to what we know. We just need to factorize this and solve it. So press pause on the video and factorize it and get the answer. Now I'll do it. List the pairs of factors of 12. This is the short method, by the way, because we just have, you know, a 1x squared. So short method. So pairs of factors of 12, um, 1 times 12, 2 times 6, 3 times 4. Two numbers that multiply to negative 12 and add to negative 1. I would work with these two numbers. Positive 3, negative 4, right? Add them, negative 1, multiply them, negative 12. So x plus 3 times x minus 4 equals 0. Solve that. So we need to use the zero product rule. This time this is 0. That means the x plus 3 is 0. Or x minus 4 is 0, right? Subtract 3 from both sides. x is negative 3. Add 4 to both sides. x is positive 4. So the answer as a solution set, negative 3, comma, positive 4. Two solutions, right? And if you plug, say, negative 3 into the left-hand side, you get 2 times 9 is 18. Um, 18, this would be positive 9. Um, you know, 27 minus 9. So this had left-hand side would be 18. Plug negative 3 in here. This is 9 and 6, 15. 15 and 3 is 18. So you'll find that negative 3 works, and if you plug 4 in, you'll get the same thing on both sides also. So, you know, you feel free to put the each number in for x and, and see if, check your answer, especially if you're taking a test. So example 2, press pause and do it yourself. Now I'll do it. We need to subtract 2x from both sides. And if I do that, 2x minus 2x is 0, and on the left-hand side, 2x squared. Remember, put it to like terms. These are x terms, so we, we add it to the x's. Negative 7x minus 2x minus 9x, isn't it? And at the same time, because I'm trying to get 0 on the right-hand side, that's the first step, remember, the, the steps for solving quadratic equations. First step is to get 0 on the right. I'll add 3 to both sides, right? Negative 3 plus 3 is 0. So negative 8 and 3 is negative 5. And on the right-hand side, I have 0. So that's the first step taken care of. I have 0 on the right. Now factor to the left-hand side. Coefficient of x squared is 2. So do I need the short method or the long method? Long method, right? 2 times negative 5, negative 10. Now find two numbers that multiply to negative 10 and add to negative 9. 
List the pairs of factors of 10. 1 times 10, 2 times 5. Two numbers that multiply to negative 10 and add to negative 9 would be positive 1 maybe and a negative 10. Would that work? If you add them, you get negative 9. If you multiply them, you get negative 10. So, um, we could write this as negative 10x plus 1x, for example. And have 2x squared minus 10x plus 1x minus 5 equals 0. And, of course, you know that you could also have written it 2x squared, you know, plus 1x minus 10x minus 5 equals 0. Either way would be correct. Now we can factorize it by grouping. Factor these two terms, then these two terms. So if I factor these two terms, I'll pull out a 2x. 2x times x gives 2x squared. 2x times negative 5 would give 10x, negative 10x. How do you factor this one? 1x minus 5. What's the greatest common factor of these two terms? Well, there isn't any, is there, really, apart from, apart from 1, positive 1, because 1 times x would be 1x, 1 times negative 5 would be negative 5, and that's good because we have x minus 5 here and here. So now the x minus 5 is the greatest common factor between the two terms that are added here. See, there's an addition here. You must always have that there. Now I can pull out the x minus 5. And x minus 5 times 2x plus 1 gives the top, and that's equal to 0. So this times this is 0. That means either the x minus 5 is 0, or 2x plus 1 is 0. And solve both equations to get the answer. So solve that, you get x is 5. Solve this, you'll find x is um, negative 1 half, right? You can solve that, can't you? x is 5 or negative 1 half as a solution set that would be 5 comma negative 1 half.